Well, I, I did a little detour today. Um, instead of going the full brake line, which is gonna be a long video, I did one just showing you how to put a double flare onto a brake line. So this is gonna be video all in itself. It's probably gonna be about six, seven minutes long. Uh, I'll keep it separate from actually running the brake lines. Not a whole lot of flaring you have to do. Um, and Factory 5's actually got it set up. If you follow their pattern, you don't have to do any of it, just so you know. Uh, but if you start running your own lines and run them in certain directions that doesn't follow the manual, uh, then yeah, you're gonna have to cut, trim, and do some of that. So hold on and uh, we'll show you how to. Okay, so we're gonna trim our, first thing we gotta do is gotta make sure we gotta trim our tube. So we're going to use our tubing cutter. You gotta remember with brake with these brake lines, everything's gotta be square. That double flare does not come out good. Okay. Actually, you know what? I can just leave this in here. So now I wanna file this perfectly flat. I got more to go. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then I uh, want to chamfer the inside. Okay, just clean it up a little bit. And then I actually, the outside's a little sharp, so what I'll do is I'll just kind of drag this. Doesn't need much, just to clean it up a little bit. I'm rotating it in my hand, by the way. Okay, so now if, if there was no, if there was another bend at this end, I'd have to put this on before I flare, but since there's no bend at this end, I'm not gonna worry about it. So, This is 3 16th, so sorry I pull this in because I can't see with my glasses on. It's a quarter, that's not gonna work. All right, 3 16th. Okay, so here we go. So the tube goes into the 3 16th slot, and this is just a cheap, I think, Harbor Freight uh, double flare tool. If I had to do stainless or something, this thing would not work, but for this stuff, it does just fine. So this goes into here, as you can see, hopefully you can see that. So this needs to come down to where the tube is just even with the bottom of the die. See that right there? And then we crank this thing down. Uh, inner one here goes first. Sorry. This one here goes first, and then this one here puts a ton of pressure on it because you got that leverage. Okay. Okay, so then this goes into the hole, like so. This piece goes up into here. And I wanna make sure that that thing is centered. Then I cock it sideways because it's gonna do that anyhow. Now I'm gonna crank this down until the die hits the uh, the part that's actually holding the tube. Okay, till that bottoms out, and you can see, hopefully you can see, it's bottomed out. And then I'll back this back off. The die then comes out. So you've now done your one part. Now this goes back in to do your double flare. Make sure it's centered. I cock it sideways again. This one I don't, I don't seat this one all the way because then I want the, the fitting to kind of push it the rest of the way. So I go pretty close, but not quite all the way. So that way when I tighten up the, uh, the nut, Ok, 
Okay, and then we'll start by going this one here. And that one there. And there you go. Hopefully you can see this. A nice double flare. So then this will come up into here. Voila. So hopefully you can see that. Sorry about that. Hope you can see that. That's how you do a, a double flare for brake line. So, and then this here, um, the nut will actually push that up against the receiving end, which I got one in here. Um, you can actually see it here. So you see how inside of there, it's gonna push that there and that there is gonna then crush it, collapse it and hold it against that little protrusion, I guess you'd call it in there, the male part of it. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to use male, female terms anymore in this day and age, but uh, I don't know what else to call that. So that's the way you do it. So now I can start figuring how I'm gonna bend this to fit and then we'll flare the other side with another one of the uh, nuts on there. That's about it. So hope you got something out of that. Well, so now you know how to put a uh, double flare into a brake line. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe and we look forward to seeing you on the next episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. Thank you.